How's it going everybody? I'm Slavin Torsky. Welcome to the channel and I know I haven't been talking too much but I figured I'd do it on this one since this is something kind of special. I finally got in the Sorrow Expeditionary Forces 9th Army of the White Iron Cavalry and that is a mouthful. I've been looking forward to this since it came out because I love the Space Marines and everything. Y'all know that if you watch the channel. Uh, but I've very much been wanting to see this. Just came in today. I unboxed it. So, uh, you know, I took off the cellophane and stuff. I haven't actually taken it out of this box. So we're going to get into it and see what we can. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch the camera mode up here. I'm going to switch it out so it zooms out a little bit more since this box is so big. That way you can get a good look at it. So let me go ahead and transition to that. All right, how is that? A little bit better? You can actually see the whole box now. Um, I'm on a half zoom, so that gives you an idea of what's going on there. All right, but uh, yeah, if you uh, like this kind of content and stuff, I've always got Joy Toys things coming out, Mythic Legions, a few others. I do some views here and there. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, all that stuff. I definitely appreciate y'all when you like it, subscribe. Uh, helps out the channel a lot, keeps me going, because I'll be honest, sometimes it is kind of tough. And last thing you want to do when you get off work is record a video, but got to keep it going, right? So here is the packaging. We'll look on the back here. See, have some nice shots. I like that head sculpt. We'll get a closer look at that. But very, very nice. See some more artwork on the side. Not just so bad. So let me go ahead and take it out of the box. All right. And here is the actual figure. So we'll pop it out. You can actually just smell that plastic and uh, paint from it definitely are straight from the factory. Sorry about the noise. And of course you have snacks. Joy Toy includes a snack pack in every pack. I'm joking, obviously. All right, zoom, so unfocus your eyes for a second. There we go. We get a little bit more uh, detail on this view. All right, so let's look at the hands. These hands are all pretty decently sized. You see this one here, so you get four hands. Uh, he has one that looks like it fell off of his hand. But let me just go ahead and pull all those out. Oh look, this whole thing broke off wherever it came from. We'll figure that out in a second. Uh, let's get that buster sword out of there. And I'll get the other two hands out too. Uh, let me find out where my joy toys are. Space Marine time. Alright. So. Let's go ahead and just do the size comparison now. And push all that away for a second. Oh, that's where it came from. That'll probably just glue right back in. Yeah, a little glue will fix that, I think. All right, so it's the little handles broke off. You can see where that kind of, well, maybe it didn't break. I think it just, the glue didn't hold and it popped out. So I'll fix that, that'll be easy. Uh, in the meantime, for one, let's go ahead and give you a size comparison to a Space Marine. This is a big, chunky figure. He's a big boy. And you can tell especially with the hands. Here's the difference in the hands that you get with the Space Marine versus him. I feel like his hands are just the slightest bit bigger. So you get an idea there. Let's get Mr. Space Marine out of here. I'll do the turntables I usually do so you can get a closer look. But let's get a better look at him because that's what you're here for. That paint application is really good. You see all the wear. I really like how that looks. That is smexy. Uh, we've got a couple belts here. Got some items. This looks like maybe a communications packet, a couple pouches, another pouch under here. Uh, we have, did those come out? Look at that. So the magazines come out of the magazine holders here. That's really cool. Yeah, I think they all come out. So that's really neat because those plug into here, which is his arm cannon or arm gun, arm machine gun, however you want to say it. That bicep swivel is very tight. Which that also looks very, very good. I like that. So you pull those out, plug them in here, so let's do that. Do they plug in like that? Is it? Or, I don't think there's any 
special shape. I think I just have to actually put it in there. Dig it. Let's put that there. Maybe it does go in this way. It seems to fit a little bit better that way. So let's try it on this one. Magazines are loaded, ready to go. Let's go back to the paint app. Sorry, I keep getting distracted. Uh, he has a couple of grenades. Uh, I think those are grenades. They look like thermoses, but they're grenades or flares. Something like that. Sorry, I keep looking under here instead of looking on top, and then my eyes take a second to adjust. I'm a moron. Uh, they are glued to the belt. Let's go around back. Some more pouches. Another little pouch. Looks like some zip ties, maybe. Yeah, it kind of looks like zip ties. But uh, on the back here, we have the exhaust. So the backpack is glued on, it looks like. The exhaust is firmly in there. So that doesn't go anywhere either. And everything looks pretty good. Oh, that popped right out, didn't it? Let's try putting that in there again. I'm going to take these magazines out because they're kind of getting in the way. All right, so you can kind of see there's like some paint app or shaving or something in there. So I think these hands are a little bit loose. I've seen in, on other videos that the hands do tend to be a little bit loose sometimes. But I have some liquid that will actually help with that. If you guys haven't seen this, check it out on eBay. Kiki's fix loose joints. I'm sure a lot of people have. Um, that will probably help with those hands. And if the like he can't stand on his feet, this stuff will work. I've tested it already, and it actually works pretty good. So in case you didn't know that, uh, let's see. But paint now. I've got some more stickers and decals here. Again, I love the flicking. It looks like they just flipped paint on them from here to get kind of a worn, rusty look. But I really like it do have some holes in the bottom here although they're kind of shallow some peg holes very very good looking so let's get into some of the accessories of course we've seen all the hands you can have both of his hands wide open if you want so he's kind of like a whoa dude or two grippy hands to grip all sorts of things trigger hand to hold a gun he does not have yet I'm sure some of the other figures will have extra guns that I can give to him and then you've got the militaristic double finger point go although the, i wish they'd give him a knife hand you know the military knife hand that way that'd be kind of cool but that one works too uh let's go oops. lose that little peg there i'm gonna super glue that in later uh his buster sword is absolutely sweet i like the wear down the middle it looks like Kind of looks like it's been built and welded this way. You see little scratches and wear. Paint apps different across the board. I look, I like that. Looks really good. I haven't started learning how to paint this stuff really well yet, so that looks really good to me. Not quite as good as the detail and the wear in here, but ta-da! There's his head. So the head's in there. He's got kind of a techo tech head. I think he's lost an eye. Maybe some of that head in there. Uh, you see the articulation is pretty good on that head. Moves around, does have a nice neck in there. Uh, that is just a head, there is not a figure hidden in there. I know some people were wondering about that. That is just the head for him. Which, the head looks good. Let's get a little closer so you can see it. I like that eye. Kind of looks like some of the Space Marines I've seen. They look kind of similar if you ask me. But it still looks good. These are all appropriate. He's honestly going to go with my Space Marines because uh, he's a big boy and there's other factions and stuff in 40k that I think he'll go well with. And I'm definitely getting all of these because I love this figure already. <laughs> Even though it came with this thing popped out and that popped out, I still love the figure. I love how it looks and I can fix those things easy. Uh, let's see, his shoulder pauldrons here. Looks like they have a little bit of a wiggle to them. I like Icon 9. Oh, 
one. So he must be 01 because, you know, he's the first one released, I'm guessing. That is definitely a jump jet. So he's a flyer with his Buster Sword. I like the look of that helmet. It is very nice looking. Alright, let's test out the uh, posability here. You notice you have two joints. You have kind of a um, arm joint in there. If you look really close, this arm moves and then that inner arm, that shoulder joint moves. So that's really smart of them to do that, so you can get extra moving, because if they didn't do that, I mean, that hand would only move about that much. Uh, as far as moving up, the armor does get in the way a little bit, as you can see. But that's why they also made that pauldron so it moves. So if you need to make him do a T-pose, move up the pauldron. And you don't quite have a T-pose, but you do have more of a A-pose. Kind of like that. Put those hands back down. Uh, the arms do go all the way around. I'm learning this while I'm showing it to you. There is a bicep swivel in there. If you can see it. Like that. There is a double joint for that arm. So that's awesome. Um, if this one's tight. Is that a ratchet? I hope that was a ratchet. Yeah, ratcheted joint. You can see it there. So you can have him come up and make it look like he's reloading. You know, kind of like the chunk chunk kind of thing. Uh, same on this arm. didn't ratchet so I hope something didn't just break. Let's put that hand over there. No, I guess it's just that particular elbow is really stinking tight. And it likes to ratchet it seems. Whereas this one, I'm not really getting a ratchet out of it, it just bends normally. But that's okay. Not a big deal. Alright, as far as his body, you do have some torso rotation. Um, the belts get in the way, as you can see. Let me move them down. You can see where that joint is down there. Rotate around. There is a double joint. So you can get a bit of flex back and forth. A bit flex side to side. You know, from this view, uh, and then you all played Fallout 4. This kind of looks like the power armor from Fallout 4 from this view. Uh, let's see, all right, so we got that, waist swivel, all of that. Uh, the smart thing, the legs here, so you can see how everything works on the inside. See, the hips and everything are not very solid, they're actually hollow. But the way they have it set is this is a rotating joint for the hips, so you can actually get his hips down and out of the way in case you need to do stuff like this. <laughs> we look a better, a little bit better at that joint there. Uh, so they do go up and down. They of course look better like this. So if you have them standing or posing, but if you want to get some better action poses, you move them out here. Once you move them out here, he can do a full on ouch. So you can actually see the ball joints there. So full split just about, better than I can do. So not bad there. Trust me, y'all don't want to see me do a split. It's very sad. There's a lot of crying involved. I uh, do have ratchets. Ooh, that's cool. This little thing moved. So the armor piece moves. Does anything else move on here? Those move. Cool. You can hear that ratchet, right? So his legs are ratcheted because he is a chonky boy. And he needs a bit of stability. But, for a figure this big and this well armored, you can't really get a better leg bend than that. That is awesome. He can kick his own ass. So, that's pretty cool. When you're moving these, because there's so much, like, there's so much resistance on the ratchet joint, hold it here, because this joint feels a bit flimsier, and you don't want to break that. And that's what I'm going to worry about here. As far as the feet go, you get a little side to side, a little rotation, a little back and forth. So it's not bad at all. You can see that joint inside of there. 
and of course uh, Joy Toys toy ro toe rotation. Uh, there it goes. It's usually pretty tight. So he's got some good toe rotation. You gotta usually break that loose. Well, not break it loose, but uh, the paint. I think they paint it up after they're done putting it together. Well, they do, obviously. And then the paint dries and makes these hard, but I don't really use the toe rotation, so I'm gonna quit fighting with it. All right, let me put these magazines back before they get lost. As you can see, I'm knocking stuff around here pretty good. Get that in there. Come on. Get in there. Uh, my hands don't work too good with small figures. All right, so we're gonna do him like that. I do want him to do kind of like the overhanded fist. That's for the left hand. So that should off. That should definitely be the grippy hand. See how that, that barbell joint wants to come out of there? Other people were having that issue too. All right. uh, I might heat, have to heat that up and just push that in there and then let the plastic warm up around it. I'll try that off camera so you don't have to hear the hair dryer. All right, so we got that. What hand do I want to put in the right hand? So here's the hands. You get one extra on that side. You get a trigger hand for this side. But I think I'll just have him do like an open hand. So we gotta get that barbell joint out of there. Okay, that wasn't too bad. You see how it's a little bit bigger on one side and a little bit smaller on the other. The smaller side goes into the hand. This mama. Big one goes into the hand. The little one goes into the wrist. Yeah, that's a lot better. So it looks more like a. Eh. I wish they had like a fist hand for him. I mean, that's pretty close. But that's more of a grippy hand. Stick that one in there. And uh, I'm probably gonna knock this out of his hand. Yeah. A little trick I've learned. Um, breathe on these with like hot breath for about, a, I don't know, 10 seconds. And it sloughens off the plastic just enough to make him grip it. that all I did is just breathe on it a little heavily heavy breathing gets the job done every time <laughs> all right yep I'm gonna heat those hand those uh, pegs in here up with a hair dryer and try it again but here is kind of what it'll look like with all of that somewhat together Not bad. And of course, uh, you could probably <laughs> you could probably get uh, both of those hands pretty close to each other here if you angle it all right. So I imagine you could get him to do kind of a cross-bladed grip here. So uh, let's see if we can do that. You see how these keep falling out? I definitely got to do something about those hands. That's already kind of a little frustrating, to be honest. So let's pull the hand back out. And not lose that. We'll put this back in here. Put that back in there. And put that in his hand there. 
there you go. He, when the hand doesn't pop out, he can do kind of a nice little chopping motion. But I think I want that to be one-handed for Buster Sword. But uh, yeah, um, other than the hands, I, not all of these have these hand issues from what I've seen, uh, but a good portion of them do. So that's the only issue I have with this figure. Other than that, he looks great. He stands up on his own very well. All right, gonna move the camera. You're ready for this. So he stands up on his own. I'm just holding the camera right now, sorry. Pretty well. You see, he, he wants to center himself. And of course, I pushed him too far. But he's got a pretty good center of gravity. So I will see what I can do about those wrist pegs, and I'll come back and tell you uh, if I was able to fix those. All right, for you, it has been a matter of seconds. For me, it's been a week and a half, and we're finally back to finish this video. I uh, just hit a really bad, uh, basically, recording block, stuff like that, but uh, I'm sure you noticed that I haven't had any videos on the channel for a minute. Uh, that's just, my mind wasn't in the right place, so we're back, we're trying to push ourselves back in, we're going to finish this video up, and then we're going to get back on the train for getting more videos out. So as you can see, let me go ahead and change that focus, we got this glued back on, so that is on there nice and tight now. Of course you don't want to yank it too much because I did super glue it. Uh, I was talking about the hands and I put that kind of gripper in there. As you can see, it doesn't really help that much. It kind of helps, but I think in this case, it's just something about the design of these hands that they don't like to stay in their joint. I think they might just be uh, drilled out different or something like that. But uh, that would be my honestly only complaint with this figure. So there's more figures coming out in the line. This is just the first one. I'm pretty sure that they will be fixing that issue with the rest of them. So uh, that's not something that I think we have to worry about much anymore. And even then, like as you can see, like it's not just falling out. It's just when you articulate it too much, it pops out. But with that quick fix for the joints, as you notice them, it's actually a little bit harder for it to pop out. It still pops out, but not quite as easily. All right, so instead of me saying pop out 12 more times, let's go ahead and get to the size comparison here. So this is how he looks next to a Space Marine. So we've got my Imperial Fist here, my Intercessor. Gives you an idea. He's kind of a big boy compared to the Space Marine. So that's a size comparison there. This is him compared to an Orc. Let me actually scoot these around a little bit. I'm going to need more space. So you see, he's even pretty big compared to an orc. And then we have a Joy Toy Mecha Spider. Uh, you've probably seen this one on the channel before. I don't know why it does that. Notice how the camera's moving around? That's not me. That's my autofocus. It's being weird. I'm sure you camera buffs out there know exactly what's going on. I'm still learning everything about cameras. But the spider actually, it kind of really goes well, the support robot. I mean, it goes well with all of the figures here, but it really goes well with him. It seems scaled down. Then there is the acid rain. They're little spider bots. Love these guys, they're fleas. Uh, he actually holds up pretty well. Something's about to fall. There it went. Ay, ay, ay. Anyways, uh, you see, it actually pairs very well with the flea. And I'm sorry, but the dog's gonna bark because she's a punk and she knows I'm recording. But uh, it gives you some side comparisons. So uh, let me know what you think about this figure. If you have it, I think it's pretty cool. Um, it's a really good figure. It's decently made, minus those hand joints. But the paint app, the sculpt, everything else looks amazing to me. But uh, that's all I got for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know what you think down in the comments section. Um, and uh, we'll talk down there because I always do enjoy talking to you guys. When you do talk about these, I know my Pew reviews get a little bit more people talking, but I'm hoping I can get more people talking to me on these action figure reviews. All right, guys? Remember, as always, keep pushing forward. Don't stop till you get what you want. And uh, never give up. <laughs> All right? 
like I said, I myself have just been recently going through a lot of like mental block. I guess you could almost call it like writer's block or just in a funk or in a rut. I'm trying to get my way out of it now. So I apologize for that being gone for a little while. We're going to try to, to fix that. Uh, but yeah, that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Keep pushing forward. Don't stop. Even if you do fall backwards, take that step, stand up, pick yourself up by the bootstraps and move forward. All right. It's one of my friend's best favorite sayings. But uh, take it easy, guys. Hope you enjoyed this, and we'll see you next time. Later. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. I hope you enjoyed it and look forward to any future content I have coming. As usual, a like is always super appreciated. Subscribe to the channel to see more videos like this. Share this video with any of your friends or groups that you think may enjoy it. And let's talk down in the comments section. I always enjoy hearing from you. If you would like to interact more with the channel, you can find me at my socials on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. I post any contest entries and reference codes for contests that I enter on Twitter, so that's another reason to check it out. I also have a TikTok account I created where I upload tease videos for upcoming YouTube videos as well as shorts. I am also getting back into gaming content on the Xbox Series X, and I'm looking to start doing streams again on Twitch, which I'll upload to YouTube later. Thanks again for stopping by, and I hope to see you again next time.